Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. And I know it's been a while, but as many of you guys would have seen on my latest community post, we have got a new car for this channel. Now, as I did say, I just keep coming back to this brand and I simply don't know why. Now, as many of you guys know, I've got my two Porsches, which are here in the shop. I've also got my E61 530D and my E60. But obviously, I'm never truly happy with just having all these cars. I wanted, you know, another one and obviously it come up. And obviously, it does need work like they all do. Um, but this one come up in particular was very different to all of the others. And now when you see it, many of you guys are gonna like it. Many of you guys are not gonna like it. Now to say the least, it's not a cheap car. Obviously, they are expensive, even still by today's standards. But obviously, I needed something that was four wheel drive. So I ended up getting this car for this channel. And obviously, this is gonna be the main focus, doing this car at least for the next month or two months at least while we sort everything that needs to be sorted out. And I know many of you have questioned why I've never been posting with the E61, the 530 diesel, and that's purely because obviously that wasn't really a channel car as such, because as many of you guys know, I literally bought that just for really my dogs and all my rubbish and just use as basically a hauling car. Now I know to many of you guys, you guys, a lot of you see your dream car, a lot of you would treat it like it's pride and joy, which is to be expected. Obviously the car is in, state at the moment inside needs to be all cleaned out and everything where it's been used for what it's used for you know at the end of the day it's used for carrying rubbish and carrying the dogs it's not the kind of car that i bought in mind to drive every day because it's not something i don't drive every day it's literally used for hauling rubbish the other e60 on the other hand is doing very very well that one i use every now and again um as many of you guys know um i still love my e60 we're doing a, it's on 178,000 miles still still doing absolutely phenomenally well. Um, I can go out there and start that car and it starts straight up on the button. Um, no funny noises, no battery drain, no nothing, even though it least stays sitting out there untouched, but it just starts and runs. When I need a good, reliable car, I usually go to that one um, for an everyday car. Obviously, if I wanted something fast and quick, then obviously I've got these two right here that I can jump in. But obviously I needed to get something else. Um, for this channel because obviously as many of you guys know everything's come to a standstill there was no problems with the 61 530d the last big one i had was this 911 which is now sorted um this one runs absolutely phenomenally good um the amount of power it's got is absolutely incredible you know i see a lot of crap about people talking crap about porsches but the majority of people that talk crap about these are even the people that can't afford one can't afford to get away from the car they've already got or they've never driven one because one thing I just want to point out about these cars in particular is that all Porsche owners can agree they don't have a bad word to say about Porsches. Unlike the BMW community, because you get a lot of people in the BMW community that will knock the car that they've got, which is a BMW. Another point I want to add is that at least Toyota guys, they can knock BMW, but this is the one brand Toyota guys do not knock, which is the Porsches, because obviously they respect them, being in Lehman's, for being what they are, proper sports cars, but BMW, as you know, gets slandered by everybody. Now, obviously, they do have a bad reputation because of what people see and believe online, but that's not always the case. As many of you guys know, I've got BMWs myself, and all of them are super reliable. I don't have no issues with them, but then I do all the maintenance. But there is a slim majority that don't do the maintenance on time, blow them up because they neglect them, they don't have the money to actually afford to run them, and then they will criticize the brand, I've said many, many times. But let's put, let's put the point across here that no car is bad if maintained properly. It doesn't matter what brand it is. It can be a Porsche, it can be a BMW, it can be a Mercedes, it can be an Audi, it can be a Volkswagen, it can be a Ford, it can be a Vauxhall, it can be a Cadillac, it can be a Chevrolet. It can be whatever you want it to be. No car is unreliable if maintained correctly. It's all about the person who's bought the car. But as many of you guys know, a lot of these people buy these cars brand new, lack the service maintenance, only you know do the service because it's free within the first three years, then sell it on, then it gets into the wrong hands of people that really can't afford them, run them into the ground, and then blame the brand, as we all know. But anyway, we're not here to discuss that. I'm just obviously pointing out the facts that obviously these cars are prestigious, and obviously 
you know, where you've got to see it, guys, is these cars, anyone's going to knock them. It's a lot of people out of jealousy, can't afford them, are only going to knock them because nobody I've ever spoke to has ever had a bad word to say about any Porsche. And I talk to a lot of people. Porsches are probably the most respected brand out there for what they do and how they design their cars and the performance they deliver and the handling. Nobody can knock a Porsche, not a 911, not a Boxster, not a Cayman. No matter what it is, nobody can knock it, and especially not the turbos. But as I said, you will get a slim majority that will knock them because they're jealous because they can't afford them. Most of these people end up buying a BMW. They know it's gonna lose value uh, later on. It doesn't matter how much money they spend on it. Um, I'm, I was speaking to a guy who basically bought a BMW, just spent money on a engine rebuild, spent all this money and the car weren't even worth it. The car's on 170,000 miles, paid two grand to have the timing chain done, everything done on it. Are you gonna get that back? Hell no, a car on 170,000 miles, it's only worth about 1,500 quid. You know, and at the end of the day, you're not getting that money back. So the way I see it, even if you run them into the ground, a BMW, you would have still got your money out of them in the end. But there is a lot of people out there that choose not to run them into the ground and choose to actually maintain them properly because they want to keep it running for years and years upon end because a lot of people don't have the money to just go out and buy cars. Gotta say, I've been quite fortunate and I'm very, very thankful for this channel and for obviously getting me to where I needed to be to obviously try to start my own business because many of you guys know I've now got my own business I've had it for last year and it's been booming and that's how I've managed to afford this and now the new car that's gonna be coming in here in a second, which I'm gonna be showing you what the new car is. But as I said, this wouldn't have been possible without many of you guys. Obviously, there was a lot of hate, as many of you guys know, and there's a lot of haters that end up pushing a lot of YouTubers away just because they don't like the way they are or the way they do things. So there's a lot of haters that make a lot of these YouTubers leave and they end up with nothing. I was quite thankful. I'll push through that, and if I didn't, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't have the cars I've got today, you know? So it was the haters that actually got me where I needed to be. And you guys who have watched and supported me throughout, and you know, I wouldn't have this new car if it wasn't for many of you guys as well. You know, because many of you guys helped push the videos out to the right people, to this, to that, and get them where they needed to be. And without that, I wouldn't be where I am today. And you guys are probably gonna be in shock when you see the new car that we're going to be bringing in here and this is the one we're going to be focusing on but again like i say if you are trying to start a youtube channel or you are doing one let me just point out do not let the haters stop you because that's what they want they want to stop you before you succeed they try it of everybody and there is a lot of youtubers out there a lot of bmw youtubers for that instance who do get put off by the haters or feel like they're not making it and then they end up staying with the same old car they had and then they try and come back to youtube with the same car and don't proceed further like i have don't do that because as you can see i am the pinnacle of if you stay put don't let nobody drive you away you'll make it a lot further than those who are trying to push you away because they don't want to see you succeed and this is the pinnacle of that showing you guys the cars i've got what i'm able to do this workshop and the next car. So let's get on to showing you the next car. I know many of you are gonna love it. Many of you are gonna hate it. But as I said to you, I needed a four wheel drive car. So guys, the new car is now in the shop. I just had to put my other 911 outside until I could sort out putting all three of them in here because it's not easy because obviously I don't wanna leave none of them outside. But what I just wanna say before I actually reveal the car is I know many of you are gonna love this because many of you asked me to get another one of these cars previously and I never did but one come up and obviously it needed a lot of stuff doing obviously come up at the right price and I purchased it and obviously I'm very very grateful for that I'm very very grateful to have it but it does need a lot of work so let's not keep you any further I'm going to be showing you the new car we've actually got okay guys so as many of you guys can probably see you can already see the new car behind me and if many of you guys probably don't know what this is. This is another Porsche 911 997. But this isn't your ordinary 997 like I've got my coupe one. This is a convertible version. And this come up for a reason. And if many of you guys don't know what that is, I'll tell you in a second. But this one is fully, fully loaded, minus the wing back seats. I'm gonna show you around the car in a sec. 
Many of you are going to be happy with this, many of you won't, will not. But I can say for sure, this one has a problem. Obviously, as we all know, the infamous problem of being bore score. So again, this one needs to be overhauled. Now, as I did say to many of you guys, I love doing these cars. And you know what? When it come up, I wasn't going to refuse and I wasn't going to say no. It did not bother me to get another one to do all this again. And this time I can document everything from the engine removal all the way to stripping the engine to rebuilding it. And now we have it here. Now, many of you guys will see I've now got three of them. I was able to buy this and this isn't an ordinary 911. This is a Porsche Carrera C4S. And this one is fully loaded. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just take you around the car so you guys get to see everything on it. So as you can see, guys, this is the 911 997. If you can see, it's a bit different to mine. This one's got the upgraded wheels, which it would have because it's a C4S. It's also in black, you can see here. And if you look inside, you've got the engraved seats. It's also a Tiptronic. As many of you guys know, I love Tiptronic. This one has cruise control. This one has the Sport Chrono. This one has the Sport and the PSM. You can see there the center console is all been um, polished and gleamed to make it like a gloss black inside. But obviously it is a convertible version. As many of you guys know, I love my convertibles. I've already got my Boxster and I thought this would be good to add to our list. You can see around here, right around here as well. You can see here, this is a Carrera 4S, so it's not just a 2S, this is now the 4S. This one obviously has an issue with bore score. So as I did say to you, we do need to rebuild it. It's obviously got a few other issues. So the roof's all sagging, um, the elastics have been broken. Um, it needs quite a lot of things to address it and sort it out properly. I'll show you all the other defects. Apart from that, inside is literally it's okay condition for the age, I suppose, but apart from that, it's got everything you want in it. Again, it's got the memory seats down there. It's got everything you need inside of one of these. You can see here, this headlight's a bit hazy. Now, they do go hazy, usually from the radiators underneath, from being so hot, they cause them to actually fog up. When the radiators come on, it's common on here as well. You can see this isn't dirt. This can all be polished out. You can see it hasn't got the kind of lights that my one has got. Someone actually upgraded all of my other one, but this one hasn't been upgraded. It's something that we can do. We can put the new DRLs in and put the new rear lights in. We're gonna buff that out. If you see here, it doesn't have the upgraded tail lights either. So there's another thing you can put on it to upgrade it. Mine's already got them. Something we can look to do. Like I say, apart from that, it's all good apart from obviously the major ball scoring, which as many of you guys know, ball scoring can get expensive, but bearing in mind this is a C4S. It is a convertible. Um, the roof needs addressing. Everything needs addressing. And I did say to many of you guys, I would end up with another one on this channel, purely because you know me, my love for Porsche is crazy. I love Porsches at the moment. And obviously they are worth collecting because the prices just don't seem to go down. And I just seem to love that. And obviously I love rebuilding them. It's not cheap by any means, but in the same sense, I just love what I do with them. And this one is very, very fully loaded with everything. So as you got to see there guys, this is the Carrera 4S we've now got for this channel. And I know many of you ain't gonna be very, very happy about that. I know many of you are gonna be angry at the fact that I've purchased another Porsche. We've now got another Porsche on this channel and this is gonna be our focus for at least the next month or two months. I know many of you don't like that. I know many of you are here for BMWs and I know many of you are gonna be jealous of the fact that now there's three Porsches in this workshop and obviously, you know, your brains can't, couldn't contain with the one of them and now it's gonna to have to contain with three of them. You know, there's a lot of guys out there that said, I wouldn't even get this, then I wouldn't get the 911, now I've got this one as well. And I mean, their brains must be absolutely going around the bend. But at the end of the day, as I've said to many of you guys, I like to prove everybody wrong. And this is exactly why I do this, because a lot of people seem to think, we're laughing at me when I said I'd get a 911. A lot of people laughed at me when I bought the Boxster. So it's a hairdresser car, but now I've got the coupe and I've also got the convertible. 2S, 4S and a 987. I mean, let's face it, most of the guys that watch this that hate don't even have one, couldn't afford one. So let's not get into that situation because obviously I don't want to upset them all. But as I said to you guys, I hope many of you guys are happy with this. I know there's going to be a lot of Porsche guys that already subscribed there who's going to be watching this. And if not, we're going to be attracting a world of Porsche guys now, especially because I'm going to be documenting the whole engine series of this. Because like I said, I've got a lot of Porsche guys already who have come over and this is why I want to maintain doing these cars. So thank you very much for watching guys. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.